Back in Canada, a Nova Scotia man paralyzed by a knife attack says he's forgiven his attacker. Scott Jones is a well-known musician in his community, and he believes he was targeted because he's gay. Over the past year, Jones has received an outpouring of support across Canada. And this week, the man behind the vicious attack was sentenced. Ross Lord reports. Shane Matheson says he doesn't know why he tried to kill another man by stabbing him in the throat and back. But his victim, Scott Jones, believes he was attacked for being openly gay in a small town. The men didn't know each other, but Jones says Matheson glared at him in this nightclub in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, before nearly killing him outside the club later that night. But Jones is determined to move on. He spoke to Shane and, and said that, that he forgives him, which was um, just amazing. And I, I myself don't know how he's able to get, has been able to get to that point, but um, it's, it shows his strength and his, uh, his spirit. Perhaps not surprising considering Jones' remarkable attitude. Since the brutal attack last October, Jones has used his misfortune to inspire launching a campaign against homophobia called Don't Be Afraid. The campaign uses photography and art as a medium for change, with supporters posting pictures online from across Canada and around the world. Start a dialogue about um, the fear that surrounds homophobia. Feeling has only partially returned to Jones' legs, and his passions of swimming and cycling have been sidelined. Still, he refuses to be diminished. You really can um, lead a happy life. As Matheson serves a sentence of 10 years behind bars, Jones hopes he'll be walking again before that prison term expires. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.